If you guys need your badges maxed out fast and legit, hit up Star Grinders on Twitter or Instagram and tell them JR sent you. Their links will be in the description down below. This is a Chooky Beat production. 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 Give me the green light was good iso gang we back with another video and in this video i'm about to show you boys how i made my demigod iso point forward build i'm gonna show you guys exactly how i made my build and then i'm also going to show you guys how i would change this build if i could go back if that makes sense so i'm basically going to show you guys two different versions of this build in this video if you like the video like the video drop a like Sub up if you're new and turn on post notifications. And yeah, man, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all boys how I made my point forward. So for this position, we go small forward just because this is gonna allow you to get more badges. I went left-handed because you know I'm a lefty in real life. Now for the for the pot chart, I chose this new pot chart, mainly yellow with a little bit of green. It's the very last pot chart. I wanted to use this one because I don't really see that many people using this pot chart and it was brand new so I was trying to make a build that was different from everybody else. So yeah man, this is the one I went with. And then for your physical profile, of course you always want to go with speed. And then for your attributes, I'm going to show you guys exactly how I set up my build. Alright so look man, for my build, this is exactly what I did. You guys see we get 1-19-30 and 8 which is pretty crazy. This is basically a six foot six playmaking shot creator. So um, for the body shape, I went um, always go compact. For the height, we went six foot six. And then for the weight, you want to put that hoe all the way down and then max it up just a little bit to where you get that little bit of strength, but you don't lose acceleration. You guys see at six six, we have an 87 speed and an 85 acceleration off rip. Now for the wingspan. What I did is, I did not touch the wingspan on this build. The reason why I didn't do that is because I wanted to have an 85 ball control at 97. Overall, that 85 ball control just allows me to do all the glitchy drill moves, the nutmeg, the fast spin back. So I wanted to be able to get that pretty easily. This build is one of the builds that you want to get to 99 because once you get to 99 and you get that gym wrap boost, you get plus eight to your speed. And then you get, you know, that plus four to all of your attributes. At 99, this build, ha build has an 84 three pointer. You're basically a six foot six play shot. This build is super OP. I have a lot of fun on it. For the takeover, you guys know me, generally for the culture, I go play take, but I already have play take on my playmaking shot crater. And play takeover, it's kind of doo doo. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I wouldn't go shot crater on this build, but sharp on a port board is pretty OP. I'm not gonna lie. So I went with sharp and you guys see if you make it like this it's going to come out as a point forward kind of a catfish build because this build has a strap so if i could go back i'm going to show you guys how i would have made this build um from the beginning i'm still going to use the same position same pot chart um the same physical profile and then let me show you guys how i would have adjusted my attributes all right so look man if i can go back i would probably do something like this i do regret not upgrading my driving layup just because sometimes when I'm going to the rim and there's like a lockdown on me or whatever the case may be and my player does a layup I get blocked so I do wish I would have upgraded my driving layup I wish I could get more finishing badges on this build 
But if you do go for finishing badges, you have to give up a lot. Like you have to give up like five shooting and like five playmaking and I don't know, it's just not worth it. I would have definitely upgraded my driving layup, but either way, my build is still OP. Having 30 playmaking badges on this game is so OP, just because you need playmaking. There's so many important playmaking badges. 19 shooting is kind of an overkill, but whenever I drop down to 15 shooting badges and put that towards my finishing and wherever the case may be, I don't gain any badges. So that's why we have 19 shooting on this build. You got a strap, you're a point forward, and you're out here moving like a playmaking shot creator. So yeah, man. And then um, for the body shape, I always go compact. I would always I would be six foot six. And then for the weight, we're gonna drop that hoe all the way down, and then we're gonna up it just a little bit to where you're at 184. Now for the wingspan, I honestly think I would probably keep the wingspan as I have it. I mean, you can go up some if you want, but the thing is, you have to keep that 99 ball control if you want that 80. You gotta keep that 99 if you wanna keep that ball control which is kind of hard i mean you can probably maintain a 98 pretty easily in the park if you don't play mock here so you could go 86.1 that might be decent but i wanted that point four name and i believe if you go like longer wingspan you don't get it we'll see like uh let me see what it looks like if you go like this right here then you can still get sharp takeover with that wingspan but yeah man this still comes out of point four if you want to up your wingspan um, you just gotta keep keep your player at a 98 overall if you care about that 85 ball control. I be going crazy with this build regardless, man. Let me know what you guys think. You guys see me going crazy with the ISO clips. Thank y'all boys so much for all the support, man. It's been your boy JR, and I'm out. Peace.